See, I'm going to discuss a very important topic with all of you. That is what is called as Hawkins sign. So whenever we talk about fracture of the neck of the talus, because of the retrograde blood supply of talus, we have a feeling that after fracture neck of talus, we should have an avascular necrosis of the body. It is absolutely a fact that avascular necrosis of the body starts appearing in because of that subchondral lucency, which is at the tip of this white arrow, which you can see starts setting in. But what happens within four to six weeks? And the avascular necrosis, which has started coming in, starts disappearing in again because the subchondral lucency start disappearing. Why? Because of the extensive collateral circulation around the ankle. So this appearing of AVN and then disappearing of AVN within a period of four to six weeks is what is called as a very modern MGK for all of you, Hawkins sign. So since AVN disappears, we should not call it as the most common complication of fracture neck of talus. So therefore, the most common complication of fracture neck of talus is subtalar arthritis. Wish you all the best.